Okay. This is the one. This is the the one part of singing and playing guitar or accompanying yourself that is super underrated. Um, a lot of people miss this. It is really, really important. It is just, it is the, if there was anything that happens in my performances that I am super proud of, it's this. I, I am a beast when it comes to arrangement and respecting a song and creating tension and resolution through the sections and respecting what the lyrics are doing. I seriously am so bullish on it. Um, it is really important to me and I am very proud that I don't kind of glance over it on e many songs. Even, even Wonderwall, I will not disrespect. I Trust me, I don't disrespect it at all. Um, everything I do comes from my creative output and I am always trying to engage deeper and deeper with the song anyway um so process of state like the stage three of um singing and playing guitar is arrangement now um i'm just gonna make sure i use these notes as well because i want you to read them uh whenever you need to remember stuff uh last minute or whatever but the way you're going to master a song um is going to come down to three things your vocal part your guitar playing part and then your arrangement now the two elements of vocal and the performance of your instrument, uh, they will grow over time, you know, especially with a song. Like you'll come back to a song every now and then and you'll be like, oh, I'm a bit better of a singer. Wow, this sounds good. I'm a bit better of a guitar player. My chord changes are better. You know, things will improve as you improve. Like those areas will improve. Now, arrangement of the song will never do that. You're never going to come back to a song. My arrangement is even tighter. It's like, no, you have to practice the arrangement and um you will as you become more experienced as an arranger um will learn how to do things even better and that will make the arrangement better but unless you are practicing the arrangement it is just not going to passively get better um so basically what we're going to do is we're going to start focusing on arrangement now the reason why arrangement is op uh, uh and if you're not a gamer out there op means overpowered <laughs> just covering all bases uh, but basically what it's going to do it's going to create motion within the song uh, and support your vocal uh, the other thing it's going to do is going to build dynamic space so it's going to keep your listeners engaged they're not going to be bored especially when you're playing a guitar it's going to be quite you, you don't want to be stuck there getting anyone bored or falling asleep while you're playing a song um, and then the last thing it's going to do is going to allow you to emulate a band with just one instrument now that is the superpower of arranging. Um, you can listen to a recording and you can take away parts of that recording that are going to, uh, you can encapsulate the vibe of the bass or the vibe of the drummer or the vibe of X player or how the song is meant to go. And then you can now apply that to your, um, your solo performance and some of that feeling is going to come out. And I kid you not, if you do this and you are good at it, you will sound better than a shitty band. Not even a, a, a bad band. I'm talking like you will sound better than a band that's just like any band that doesn't respect timing, which is a lot of bands because a lot of bands aren't, they don't actually rehearse. They're kind of like put together like with friends and things like that. You will sound bigger and better than them. Like that's how amazing this thing is. Um, I used to perform with an electric guitar. <laughs> An electric guitar, and I sang with an electric guitar, and I sang. And and because I did stuff like this, sometimes I would have to compete with bands, and sometimes the, the inexperienced bands, they just couldn't hold the crowd like what I could, even with all the extra sound, all the extra arrangement, all the extra noise that's just pumping out, and more people on stage, the more vibe. But the connection between me respecting the vocal, respecting the rhythm of the song, and respecting the arrangement was enough to hook more people in. And they were like, no, nah, I like this. I'm good with this. Um, and it already, it gives me enough. I'm like, cool. That's a win. So just remember that that is totally possible. Like, um, if a band can't emulate tension and resolution within a song, and you can do it on your solo instrument, you're, you're going to be bigger than a band, which is so cool. And how I know that this 100% works is I'm a big fan of John Mayer and I'm a big fan of Ed Sheeran. And those two guys, they don't miss, yo. Like, 
You you listen to Ed Sheeran solo, he he does it all. So everything I'm going to talk to you about, Ed Sheeran does it all. And there's a reason why he can be one guy, uh, a loop pedal and an acoustic guitar, and he can hop on a stage in front of 50,000 people and he can just run the whole whole concert. No problem. Just everyone's eating out of the palm of his hand. That good. That good of a performer. That good of that control. So good. Anyway, um, so let's go into arrangement. Um, now we're going into step portions. So the first thing that you're going to do is figure out what is your dynamic ceiling and what is your dynamic floor? So say I was playing uh, shotgun. Um, my dynamic ceiling for shotgun. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. Feeling like a summer. Whoa. I'll be riding shotgun. That's, a, that's the ceiling that I'm totally comfortable hitting. Um, and then my floor is be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a summon. Whoa, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a summon. So that's that's my floor. Um, and all of these are subjective, there's no like bass notes on the floors, like whatever you're comfortable with. For me, I'm very comfortable with a palm mute and a bass note. I'm like. That's as low as I really want to go. I don't want to be like, I don't want to be like, I don't want to get like. You, you Do whatever you're comfortable with. There's obviously going to be ways that people tell you, oh, you can be quiet. I'm like, I don't care about those people. Do what you like, figure out what your ceiling and what your floor is going to be. And then you stick to that. Uh, stick within your skill set. Uh, and then obviously get better later on. Now, step two of the arrangement is now, once you have figured out what your ceiling and your floor is, go through each section of the song and be like, okay, well, how much energy am I going to put into each section of that dynamic energy that I've been figuring out? Like, where, where is it going to sit on the scale of the, of the 10 or like 1 to 10 or whatever it is? And like, figure out each section how you want to flesh them out. So for me... Um, I'm going to, I know in the song, there's a part in the pre-chorus that I could get used to this. And, and I'm like, I need to accent that. Um, I like that part in the arrangement. It's like this really high melody note. And that, so what I would do is I know that I'm going to pull out on that one. So whenever that section comes, I'm going to pull out on that. Um, and I want to make sure that my choruses are always going to be I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. And then I know the very last chorus I'm going to play, I'm going to do a banger of like this E chord. It's going to come out. So, so for that's what I mean by like go through the recording, listen to the recording, analyze what you think is good, what's bad, uh, what you think is within your abilities to do, and then like figure out what you want to pull out of each section. So, um, like step three is this uh, interpretation of this uh, dynamic energy and things like that. So I'm going to give you a, uh, so once you've evaluated all the stuff, you're now going to start interpreting what you heard and being like, okay, this section I deem as needs to be chill and vibey. Uh, and this section needs to have a break and this section needs to build uh, and this section needs to go super ham. Now, once you do that and you haven't, you have analyze it that's what step two is analyzing what those parts are step three is taking those analyzed parts and be like how can i do that with my instrument within your skill set so for instance me the first verse i'm just gonna go home bro alligator see you later gotta hit the road i'm gonna do really chill chords something changing the atmosphere architecture unfamiliar i could get used to this Time flies by in the so now I'm going to the pre-chorus. So I want to have like a little bit more bass notes come out. I want to get a bit more of this. Time flies by in the yellow and green stick around. But I've got a palm mute, so I'm keeping it still chill. It's building. It's energy, but it's building slow. I'm dreaming of if you need me, you know where I'll be. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. Feeling like a someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun. Feeling like a someone. Now that 
that's that's a good vibe for me right now. And now I'm like about to come back into verse two, which is I want to bring it back soft, but I still want it to be a bit more vibey than the first verse. I don't want it to be the same as the first verse. And then um, we go, uh, I can't remember the second verse. South of the equator, navigator, gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Deep sea time around the clock, bikini bottoms like a toss, yeah. I could get used to this. The time flies by in the yellow and green, stick around, out of chalk, I mean. And there's a mountain top, I'm dreaming of if you need me. And shotgun underneath the hot sun. That's my normal chorus vibe that I got. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. Now the bridge is now we got two in the front. And so this this part here, when I look at this song, I feel like it it kind of carries on from the chorus into the bridge, like the vibe just carries. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back on the chorus, the last chorus, I'm gonna do a double chorus. One's gonna be like super chill and one's gonna be like massive. So you'll hear how I do that here. So, a hot sun, feeling like a someone. And we got two in the front and two in the back. Sailing along and we don't look back. Time flies by. A mountain top. I'm dreaming of if you need me, you know where I'll be. Now, bring this as low. This is the lowest I've ever gone. So, I'm giving like this really big tension resolution movement. Um, I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. Whoa. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. Whoa. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. So you can see how I interpreted each section of the song and how I was like, okay, I can do this with my guitar playing. And obviously I have a lot of experience in playing guitar. I played that song many, many times. I know what I'm doing. Now, this is what it looks like when you can build those skills. Arrangement is not gonna come like that, but the mindset of actually thinking about this, the fact that you might actually think about this is going to set you apart from everyone else immediately because majority of players just don't do this. They don't think about this. They're like, cool, got the chords, got the lyrics, let's go. They don't even think about the vocal rhythm. They'll play out of time, they don't care. Um, so I'm very passionate that you guys should try this out, should try see how this grows. Now, that is step three. Step four is going to be play the whole song, like I just did. Just play the whole song. You're gonna play through your interpretation of everything that you did, and you're gonna be like, all right, how does this flow? Is there things that I should change? Do I like this? Is this nice? Whatever. That's up to you. That is part of this whole thing. And right now, I think below, I did put, it's written out here how I would approach it. Um, but this one doesn't really work. Uh, oh, it actually does work for this one. But um, this song doesn't have a, obviously we're missing a pre-chorus. So I, typically the rule, this is how I, like most songs, verses are chill, choruses are bangers. Um, pre-choruses of builds uh, and bridge you're going to make a choice it's usually either going to be chill or it's going to be big it's up to you the bridge typically is set up in a way to send you to another place it is a bridge between two choruses usually because it, the flow of a song is going to have a verse chorus verse chorus and then by the time you've heard two choruses you're like well what's more if i just bang out another chorus it usually doesn't like unless it's like a very, very simple song, straight up just certified banger, um, you know, just like that's what a bridge is used for. It's usually kind of like lyrically set you apart, bring you to a different sonic place so that when you come back to the chorus the last time, it's still fresh. Um, so with that in mind, 
I usually try to manipulate either really chill bridges or um, I'll make them even more emphasized and then do like a double chorus where I make half the chorus chill, like really chill, like I just did then with um, uh, Shotgun and then bang it out. But all of them, can't, like this is just like a, a rough idea of how I would look at it. You can do it however you want. Um, just be creative, see what you want to do. Every song is going to be different. And I'm telling you, every song is different. Um, you will find things that you resonate with that you don't resonate with. And you'll be like, I can cherry pick what I like out of each one of these sections. And that's how I'm going to do it. So hopefully that is going to give you an idea of how this works. Um, we're going to move on to the next stage, uh, which is mastery of how to sing and play guitar. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying this. Give me feedback. Let me know. Um, I really, really want to make this course like so much. Um, but I just had to get the other ones out of the way first, but we're at a good start. So hopefully this helps you out. Um, welcome and welcome to the arrangement part of, uh, singing and playing guitar. So I shall see you guys in the next video. Let's go.